to all you droppers out there. Today we're going to talk about the Lawgiver Mark II from Planet Replicas. Uh, this was a promotional type box when they were just initially coming out with how to package it up. So most of you have want to see this. So you would have got your Lawgiver inside there, nicely, nicely protected. And that was how it was going to be. But it never came to pass, and we got it instead in a nice designed box. So on the side you can see, on the lid I should say, 2000 logo, Planet of Epic Kids logo, Mark II logo there, Judge Dredd, blah blah blah, the Eagle, Justice Department, logo for Mark II, run 450, this one's number 301. I have got another one, more about that in, in a little bit. Right, lid comes off, nice protective bit of uh, post-dying inside. Get a little postcard from Planet Replicas. Uh, and it shows you on the side, on the other side here, some of the items they've got for sale. Uh, the McMahon statue, fantastic piece. Log of the Mark 1, Dread Helmet, Mark 2 Log of the uh, full size dread badges and custom badges with your own name on, uh, key rings, and also a Rogue Trooper USB file chip for replicas. Okay, so this is how your logo comes in its box. So it's nicely cut out, nicely protected. First up, magazine, housing the six different rounds. As you can see from there, you can just see different coloured tips. So you've got the general purpose, high X, uh, ricochet, incendiary, heat seeker, and armor piercing. That's it. And this is the actual log of itself. It's got a lovely weight to it. And the magazine, oh, 50 rounds, load. For all you military people out there, now it's got a little hidden magazine, uh, hidden magnet beside on the front of it there, and you'll hear it click in because it just put, it's quite strong and it pulls it into it. Uh, so you saw me in hand move. So, uh, so you can see just there, and it's strong enough to not drop out. So there we are. And there's the other side. So what you got as well is a working trigger, so if you want to pretend you're shooting somebody, you can do that. Now as you can see, you've got the round indicator that you see in the comics all the time lighting up. There's your sights, so you can just look at that, and it'll give you a, let me just have a look at the target acquired, it says on that one. Uh, nice sort of fake wooden... Um, Handle there. I've got the bleak turn for it now. Oh, look at that. Well, that's light. Uh, you've also got the laser range find at the front here, which looks quite nice. Got the ejection port there for the spent cases. And the muzzle itself, it's just got a little bit of depth to it, so it does. I mean, I think it stops about here. So I'll just put a uh, get your finger right into about there. Just so if you were going to do like sort of little film and you want to shoot stuff, you know, if you're firing, you know what I mean? And people give it the old pitu, pitu, when it should be blam, blam, or da 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 da. da. Uh, so there's for all these people who are doing little films. Got Justice Department armory on the side there, serial number, the hashtag, and then it's JVC, and then it goes into a lot of numbers, letters. And as you can see, really nice, nice bit of kit and the eagle at emblem on both sides, just like it is in the comic. Now, that is a primarily a display piece. You take it to the cons uh, at your own risk, uh, because if you damage, if you drop it, it will smash quite simply. Which brings me to this. This is the my first one I bought. So. It's 007. Um, 
Now, when I was at one of the London cons and Nina Heaney was there, who's Mama, there was uh, we all there was four judges from Planet Red Riggers in Planet Red Riggers outfits. There was myself, Judge Court, Judge Lemmy, and Judge Power. So we all had individual pictures taken with any other group picture. And if you've been to any of these conventions, you know, you get your photo and you've just got to get out of the way, sort of thing. So I horsed me, Lord, here, and we all wandered across the table, back to our changing area to look at the pictures and all that. Uh, and just as I reached the table, it, it, it was quite heavy. It's just, before I could get my hand to it, as I rushed putting it away to get out of the way, it fell out, my po out of the holster and the end was damaged. And as you can see, that fell off. Um, and also, the magazine, just a little chip at the top there. But, it's one of those things, isn't it? Uh, luckily, they did a nice sale a couple of years ago, around Thought Bubble time, and there was a nice percentage drop knocked off, so I thought, you know what, I'll get another one. They're not that expensive. Well, I'm sure they are expensive to, to people, but... I don't think they're expensive to a uh, collector or a person who wants to just have one on display somewhere or use it for a photo shoot. So I would highly recommend getting them. Planet Replicas, uh, you probably know the person if you're in the Dread community who, who runs it. Dan, big big fan of Dread, and he was one of the people behind uh, Judge Minty. So you know you're getting something that's decent. So yeah, pop out and buy one if there's any left.